Welcome back guys to another video. So this is my motor shell platinum speedrun and although it's very quick in the time of the video this is how quick we got through it. I did die quite a few times along the way here. I did consider leaving them in when I was recording this and when I was running it and you also see me mention it a few times but once I got finished I thought it would be much better to cut them out. I've already covered this on the PS4. I've done a sort of platinum walkthrough for that. But I'm making this more of a speed run this one. I'm going going to run through the game once. But we're going to do everything on no show. Everything on no show. And this will take a little bit of experience in the game before you can actually pull this off. But I will give some tips along the way for anybody that actually wants to follow this as well. This is the enhanced edition on the PS5. And I'm just covering the platinum for now. I'll get to the DLC, the Virtuous Cycle, in another video. Right, so let's get going. Yes, I'm going for a Platinum Speedrun. Um, I, yeah, I will try and give some tips along the way, but I am going to have to concentrate a little bit. So, always visible, yep, yeah, full, yes, no. Yeah, I try and give tips where I can, guys, but I am going to have to focus. I can say, right, options, I need to turn off, where is it, yeah, trigger, turn that off, turn the speaker off, I hate having the speaker on, on the controller, right, and vibration off, right, let's do this guys, yeah, zero trophies, and yeah, just platinum only, yeah, I've not, I have spent a lot of time on the DLC, but I'm not, I still, quite a lot of things I need to, um, test on there before I get to the point where I can record any videos for it. Okay, so um, first of all, I'm going to be doing a no hit run on Hayden in the tutorial. If you do not do this, it's quite easy to do, well I won't say it's quite easy, but it's quick to retry. All you need to do is start a new game on another save slot and you can just get to Hayden quickly and try and do him without damage to get a trophy for that. Yeah, my, my other walkthrough for this, the PS the PS4 version that I've done, that's more that's gonna be more of a walkthrough than this one. Because this one's more of a sort of advanced speed run. Um it's gonna be a bit harder to follow, like I say. Right, tutorial. Right, game of sword. I'm hoping I don't die too much. Alright, for some reason that didn't register. There we go. Yes, there's a mortal token there. There's there's three mortal tokens hidden in this tutorial, by the way. And we only need five. Yeah, we only need five. But they do come in useful where I do a bit of clean up later on. Because there is a trophy on this for uh, collecting well, not collecting every item, but maxing, getting max familiarity. Wow, what's happened there? Getting max familiarity with all the items, key items, and key items don't count. Right, so um, the way I do this, yeah, I wait for him to harden. Just keep dodging his attacks. Wait for him to harden. And careful with this lunge, it's got mega reach. You when he hardens, get ready to do a running attack. Then afterwards harden. Then you can normally get two two attacks in. I am getting three attacks in. Um, but you need to know what to do it with. There you go. Yeah, just always get two attacks in. But if it doesn't stagger him properly when it hits you, when you've hardened, if he only staggers for a moment only do one hit because sometimes he won't stagger properly like that's a full stagger when he sort of stumbles back yeah but sometimes it doesn't work properly he'll just flinch and if he flinches just do attack once and get out because uh, yeah he'll recover very very quickly and attack you straight away Yeah, normally, 
normally when he hardens, when he's about to do that sort of um, uh, sort of upward swipe, when he crouches like this, you can normally get three attacks in on that one. As long as you harden when your first R1 attack is in motion off the combo. Right. The, the grindiest thing on this is probably spending 50,000 at the, at the uh, uh, merchant NPC back in Fulgrim. But I have worked out a little trick to do this. There is a trick on the PS4, which if any of you watch my other guides when you're watching this, you'll know what I mean. But you can't actually do that on the PS5 because it's only one save file. But I figured out a way to do something very similar on the PS5. So when it comes to spending 50,000 tar at the merchant, which is really grindy, because there's just, no, there's just no good way to farm tar in this game. Yeah, there's a little trick, similar to a PS4 version, to do that in like five minutes. Which I'm so glad that I found out because... That's, that's, there we go, face off. That's for beating him without taking any damage. And you get a glimpse of reverie from beating him as well. That glimpse, it's not needed for the Bars Tended trophy. Yeah, it's not needed for the Bars Tended. There's four glimpses which I know are not needed. There may be more, but I know these four are not needed because I've popped the trophy quite a few times before. When I've been testing it, and I've never had to get these, it's that one, Glimpse of Reverie. I think it's mainly the four missable ones. So you got that one, and you got three connected to um, the NPC in the Seat of Infinity. Is it Corvid, his name? I think. Basically, it's, it's a guy you can either, you can kick him off the... Um, the platforms up there into the abyss or you can uh, be friendly to him and you get another glimpse and then later on you have to give one of them a glimpse of somebody else and you get another one I think it's a glimpse of cowardice a glimpse of I can't I can't remember either two or a glimpse of admiration I think that's one but them three that you get from Corvid are not needed for platinum guys for bias tended and that one for beating Hayden without taking any damage that's not needed either so them four glimpses you don't actually need um, so don't worry if you can't be hardened without taking any damage now. You can come back to him later when you're a bit more experienced. Um, what else? This literally, uh, this tunnel is probably like the, the first half of the speedrun. Um, yeah, so you got, that's missable. Then for glimpses. And what else is it needed? What some people are not too sure about. You do not need the DLC items. On the virtuous cycle, there's some new items added onto the... The inventory tab in the lore in the compendium page and um, you've got the loot there, there's a new loot basically you buy from Haddon you get new effigy which is to summon Haddon's weapon you do not need them for the platinum guys you do not need them for the bystander it's still just all the base game stuff none of the DLC stuff is needed and with Haddon if you max out all Haddon skills, you can't access a shop, so you need to max out the skills with one of the base game shells in order to access Sess the shop to buy the last item from their ornate mask. Right, <laughs> let's get going. So, I'm going to leave most of the item collecting until end game. I've got an etching here. There you go. you got to make sure you actually examine them etchings. If you don't examine them afterwards, they do not register. Right. Mushroom here, grab that. Well, two times world cap. There we got a glimpse of futility. In this chest, we've got a simple loot, which we need, and the remnant of tar. By the way, I'm going to be leaving a lot of quenching acid and a lot of weapon upgrades that I don't need. So I will try and mention them to you. So if you do want to get them, you can grab them. Um, because some areas, when you've been through them, like Sea of Infinity, you cannot actually... Um, get the items again, they're sort of missable. Uh, so I've got a remnant of tar there. There's another etching here. Obviously, you die in one hit, so you've got to be really careful with this. That's why that's why this will take a bit of practice. So I might it might not be a good idea to um, do this to begin with. Uh, you got a well cap there. And tar spawn. They all respawn after five minutes of mushrooms. And you need you don't need to loot 50 
uh, spots. You actually just need to, to get 50 from the little mushroom stocks. Now. So I'm just going to talk to Sester. And there we go. Just to register her as a save point. And they're going to come in here and get killed by the, um, the Grisha. But we're also going to loot the chest. Watch out for these traps. Yep, down there. Got a glimpse of fertility. Right, so you get me away from that chest. There we go. Mechanical spike. And I'm going to let him kill me. Why not? Yeah, when you're looting a chest, by the way, if you think you're going to get hit and interrupted while you're looting it, you can harden while you're looting it. And it gives you just a little bit more time to actually get the loot from it. Right, so you need to die because that's how you get the tarnished the mask from Sester. Your first death and she'll give you the tarnished mask. You're awake, yes I am. Yeah, she'll give you the tarnished mask. Perhaps. Right, once you've got that, we're going to come up here and I'm going to get the... Um, wow, well, what's happening? <laughs> Getting stuck on something. Right, we're going to get the tattered vestment up here and I'm going to get the um, tarnished seal there we go you get a bit of dialogue from him right down here I'm going to head out here Get that remnant of tar. Right, and let's go to the first area now. Yeah, I don't really do any item looting until until um, we've actually killed the last boss, no shell. Yeah, I'll get this etching while I'm here. There you go, an etching. And yeah, making our way to Shrine of Ash. And there's going to be another etching just down here. There's 17 of these, by the way. There you go, just hit the wall and then remember to make sure you examine it. Very important you examine it. Right, it's Mushroom over there. And we want to get the acid from that chest. We've got to be very careful so you don't die in one hit. So I'm just going to come around the back here. Wow, <laughs> already died, damn. Okay. A lot of times when I've come there in the past, they haven't sort of come for me straight away, so that's throwing me off a bit. And sometimes the game, it doesn't react to your button inputs properly. I don't know why it happens, but yeah, sometimes it doesn't quite react to your button inputs. Oh yeah, I need to get the um, obsidian shell as well. Forgot about that. Damn. Yeah, I normally get the obsidian dark form. So I come down here and get these mushrooms first. I forgot this because I'm talking to you. Yeah, now these frogs, you can kill them by dodging into them. You dodge into them and it kills them. Slurry of tar there in them sticks. Yeah, the frogs, you roll into them and it'll kill them. Um, and it doesn't actually inflict poison on you then. And yeah, under them sticks was the slurry of tar, which you will, you will need for later, so just make sure you get that. And yeah, here we go, obsidian dark form. I normally do this um, before I go and shrine off ash, but I forgot about it. Right, so... Um, because because we need to do the there's a trophy for completing the game with no shell. We cannot touch any shell at all until we've beat the last boss. Basically, if you do, then you will avoid that trophy. Right, I'm just going to use this to walk back now. Yeah, so I get that, and then I walk back to Sester, and then and then I go to the Shrine of Ash. Right, so let's go. Cool. 
There we go. Yeah, obsidian dart form. Right, yeah, so probably good job we didn't get to Shrine of Ash, because I would have got about that. It, it, it would have just meant I had to do this when we get back. But I do normally do this at the start of the game, but I just forgot I just forgot to do it. Right, let's try that again. So, cringe and acid. Yeah, see, so they come around there this time. So this chest. Yes, yeah, so you're going to get hit. You can harden. Oh, but it's quite lucky then. Yeah, so quenching acid. And we, then we want to get congealed tar. And then we can head inside. Any items I'm not collecting, it's because they're not really needed. Right, so that congealed tar there. And you got a glimpse of fertility there. Wow. You gotta be very careful you're dodging. Wow. Bloody hell. Wow, here we go. Yeah, and um there there was a sort of fast travel glitch on the PS4. It, it was patched out eventually. But you can still you can s still sort of cheat the fast travel system, but it means you can't speak to any Cestus. Um, I'm going to speak to this one. You'll find out later when we get back here. So I'm going to talk to her. Yep. And then we're going to come over to the anvil. I'm going to upgrade the acid plus one. There we go. And then we're going to upgrade the mechanical spike. There we go. We're going to do this later. That weapon when we come back here. Just make sure you talk to that Cesta. I think I did. I did, didn't I? When you Yeah, I did. I couldn't remember if I spoke to her or not. Yes, right. So here we've got there's gonna be a teal effigy. Wow. A teal effigy. A mushroom there. Well two times world cap. By the way, when you're rolling, you cannot pick up items. But during your first little skip, when you're dodging the first little skip, you can actually collect items during that. Uh, here, there's another etching. There we go, grab that etching. Don't need nothing else in here. I do not revisit any of the dungeons in this in this uh, guy, so I hope I get everything. So, scripture of repent there, we need that. Open that door. Just dodge away while it's opening. There we go. Get out a token. So I just got two tokens there, and in here we've got a glimpse of utility. And then we we'll dodge back and pick up that other token. There we go. And over here we've got another mushroom. In this in here we've got a quenching acid over here is a bronze bell there we go got it bronze bell it's I guess that one is a little bit tricky because some two punks are about to hit you but I guess you could harden now watch out for this guy over he's yeah watch out for him she lobs flame at you uh, mushrooms there well cap well I'm gonna have to let my um, stamina refill a bit now yeah, it's a remnant of tar here. And over there is a glimpse of infection that we need. More mushrooms here. Two times world caps. Uh, mortal shells there. Mortal token, sorry. Open that door. Just wait for a moment while it's opening. Uh, quenching acid in here. On that barrel is a scripture of despair which we will need later. You've got a roasted rat here. Now this bit's quite tricky. And in this chest, but if you get beyond this pillar like this, you got a solemn offering in there basically and an undue tar. Wow, I've got stuck. Mushroom there again. That's it, we've got everything we need. Yeah, so we've got a solemn offering and unduent tar in that chest. Yeah, it's quite tricky getting to that chest, but if you stand behind it, sort of on that side, when that enemy lobs some fireballs, so we'll hit the pillar because he throws with his right hand. 
So, right, make way over here. Now, I don't need nothing from these tombs. Open this door. But if you open them tombs and harden, um, you'll not take any damage while you're opening it. Right, glimpse of hope on there, which we need. Mushroom here. And onto the boss. Yeah, that's took a bit longer than what I wanted it to take. So here we go, guys. First boss. First boss. And, yeah, I've died... How many times have I died now? Two or three times? So I've died a few times more than what I wanted to. Well, I'm going to drink that poisonous stuff. Pretty cool skin, this. It's sort of semi-transparent. You can see my bones and stuff. Oh, it tickles. Stop it. Tickles me. Oh. I died from that. Right, here we go. This boss is quite easy. I actually think, out of all the bosses, the, f the first three have been made easier with patches, but the last one has been made a little bit harder with patches. Wow, I thought that was going to hit me then. There we go. Yeah, we're going to keep my um, resolve for the second phase, I think. Well, get out of the way. R2 attack. R2, though, it does let me dodge during the R2. But not the R1 attacks. Like heavy attacks. Oh, staggered him. Yeah, if you notice, I like to do um, I like to do light attack, light attack, and then heavy attack. Yeah, I like that combo. Going down this time. Ah, oh, see, I think he's dead. Hey, faded the fire finally. Right, build up some resolve quickly. Before the. There it is, and grab the glimpse of annihilation. Wow, uh, yeah. That went a little bit pear-shaped. I should have done that a lot quicker than that. Um, I'm tempted to cut everything out, you know, show you only the the good stuff, you know, rather than all the deaths. Perhaps I will. I don't know. We'll see. Um, you, you know, if you're watching this, you'll know if we have. So I'm taking a knotted gland from there, the inflamed gland, and right, let's um, remove all these. And I need a quick slot that. I'll use it in a minute. Right, we just need to get one etching first. Yeah, there's an etching down here and a chest that we need. So first, you want to get the etching because some enemies spawn when you loot this chest. Where is it? There it is. Get that etching. Make sure you examine it and loot this chest. There we go. Extract a tar inside, which we need. And then I'm going to warp. There we go. Yeah, when you loot that chest, it makes two um, little red mages appear. Right, so now we're back here. Now I've got a quenching acid. I'm going to upgrade this. And I'm going to defeat, uh, defeat Hayden and unlock the weapons. There we go. I might as well do that. So we've got it. Right. Yeah, with unlocking the weapons, you um you don't actually need to. That's not a trophy for obtaining the weapons, but the bar's tender trophy. You have to. You have to max familiarise yourself with the items that let you summon a weapon into your hand from anywhere, and you actually need the weapon to be able to use some items. That's that's the only reason we need the We need the weapon. 
we need all the weapons in order to use another item. It's pretty annoying that we, because that we have to defeat Hayden three times on these little battles. But I guess it unlocks the weapons. It will also kill you as well if you, <laughs> if you don't dodge an attack like that. Right. And uh, yeah, if he doesn't stagger back properly after hitting on you, hitting you when you're hardened, then only do one R1 attack. Yeah, see my hardened ass reset, so I know he's getting ready to attack. Yeah, if you can harden when your R1 attack is in motion, you can sometimes get an R2 attack in after that two hit combo. You just gotta play, you know, you gotta play around with it. Yeah, but sometimes you don't have a chance. Right, I'm gonna wait. I'm not gonna wait that special yet. I'm gonna wait after he's hardened. Right. And um, I had I had something funny happen once. I hardened, but. It wasn't on this, it's actually on the last boss. Right, let's do this special. Ah, no, he, I didn't, he shouldn't have hardened that quick. He hardened quick then, wow. Yeah, if he runs after you, be very careful, because he'll all of a sudden just do that slash. That huge swipe. Well, it's more like a sweep, I guess. Right. Got him. Right, let's get built him with soul while I'm waiting. Yeah, on the on the last boss, if you I had this thing happen where I hardened I hardened during an R1 attack, but it, it froze me at the point the attack would connect and yeah, so yeah, so we've done that now. We're gonna go back into here, guys. Yeah, it, I hardened at the moment my attack would have connected, and the minions at the last boss spawns they jumped into me and just dying because I hardened at the point of attack. So that that's a pretty cool, cool thing you do. If you harden at the point of attack, anything touches you, you attack them <laughs> without actually leaving the harden state. Right, so. Very careful during these on no shell because they always bloody jump at you and it's really annoying. So we need to get our disciple shrag from there. Yeah, so we do not need to come to the side of the map ever again. That's why I like to um, spawn there. So I can uh, get our disciple shrag that we need. And we need to do this miss uh, this frog chest down here as well. For a scripture of repent. Oh no. Oh wow. Somehow I got that. Yeah, scripture of repent from that frog chest. Not this time, mate. Yeah, and there's a frog chest up here that I need. There we go. Extract a tar you get from there. I'm going to come around here. I'm going to get our frog chest over there because it's got a bag of tar. There we go. Oh, I've got no bloody stamina left. Wow. <laughs> he got caught in a trap. Crunchy acid. I'm going to get his two mushrooms. Yeah, got to be kept. Quite a few are going to drop down here. Welt cap. Task bore. I'm going to loot that. Okay. Tainted nectar from that one. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's very, very... Right, let's quickly rest it. Wait. There we go. Right, now we're back here. And what's the next step? Uh, yeah, that's it. So come here, rest it. Make sure you rest it at the cesta. 
and go to the next area now. Got caught in a bloody trap again, the idiot. Yes, yeah, so straight through the tunnel. Basically, what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to do all the frog chests now. So when I do my cleanup and game getting all the items, we can do the cleanup um, in the normal area, not in the mist. And it's just a lot simpler without them bloody things jumping on you all the time. Because they chase you really far. They chase you really far, they do. Right. Got a mushroom, a task board there. Wow, lucky he didn't fall on me then. Remember to watch your fall damage. Uh, mush, uh, well cap. And you want to loot this chest here. There you go, for this cestus binding. Leave the shell, yeah, do not get the shell. And there's an etching here. Yeah, make sure you examine it. Right, hopefully I can get through Seat of Infinity first, guys. Uh, quick, I'm hoping I can make this time up that I've lost in Seat of Infinity and in the um, ice area. I forget the name now. Yeah, so I'm going to come over here and I'm going to use a Slurry of Tar and a Nascent Tar. That's it, that'll give you 3,000. And then you can buy the Forbidden Offering. There we go, which is very, very good. You don't need it for platinum, but it increases how much resolve you get, so you really want to um, uh, make sure you get that when you come along here. We will be along here later on, but right at the end of the game. Right, let's go and do the Seat of Infinity. Yeah, this is... Seat of Infinity is where your dodging skills get really put to the test. But it's, there's not going to be much of loot. Like I say, that this area, when you kill the boss, it change all the, um, a lot of the platforms move around and a lot of items will be unreachable. So you've got to make sure you get them all uh, first time if you want them. So on here is the etching. There we go. Yeah, make sure you, do, you get that one. Uh, mushroom. Yeah, we will be coming back to start the area before the boss, so don't worry about the weapon for now. We will be coming back here. Right, and uh, yeah, I've not said this, have I? Do not use any items. Because, uh, yeah, don't use any items, because what's going to happen is... Um, at the end of the game, we're going to use Solomon, and we're going to buy the skill for him, which makes you get double, ma uh, double familiar familiarity with items. Yeah, so you get double familiarity with items, and we're going to be using that. Uh, Solomon Effigy there. There we go. Yes, it says unknown, but it is for Solomon. I'm going to come off here. Yeah, the reason I came from B, I came around it, is because if you go straight for it, that enemy will start shooting arrows at you, uh, bolts, and it's just a bit easy doing it that way. So, Mushroom here. Oh my god, missed it. Oh, I should have just left it. Yeah, there we go. Wild cap. Just a little old wild cap. It's because you need you need to find 50 for a trophy. That's why I'm looting them. Yeah, you don't have to loot 50 uh, spots. You just have to find 50 from the spots. Another wild cap there. So in this area I'm just coming to now, there's a quenching acid here. And you see that lamp in the distance? Behind there is a weapon upgrade for the um, hammer and chisel. I'm not going to get it, but if you don't get it now, it will uh, disappear after you kill the boss. So get that if you want it. This bit's pretty tricky. Because he's going to have... Uh, they're shooting crossbows at you. But just turn my left. If I took the left path, I'm coming back around where I was. But if I took the left path, that lead you to a chest with a quenching acid inside it. And th the way I'm pressing these lamps to sort of make it make me a little bit invincible. You can't, like, say you can't pick up items when you're rolling. But in that first little skip, you can actually press X to interact with stuff like that. 
yeah that first little skip you can press X to interact with stuff so you're sort of in invincible while you're interacting with it so yeah try and use that if you can oh shit yeah when you come around them red mages do not walk until you're good distance away from them what's happened to my stamina oh because I was running it got stuck I thought I was walking then yeah they they do a thing where um, they summon uh, pillars from the ground and if you walk in, they can catch you and kill you. So if you're near any, just keep running or rolling. Here is a scripture of uh, despair that we need. Yeah, we should have both of them by now. Yeah, items like this, the scripture of despair, it will say that you need four to max its familiarity. But with the Solomon skill, you only need two. Right, so we're coming through here now. If you, there is a... Solomon off there's a solemn solemn offering uh, hidden in here. I'm not gonna get it But just bear it in mind you want, might want to google that So roasted rat I just got yeah roasted rat that little campsite under there here. You have a uh, Well, well, well rotten food. Yeah rotten food there that we need Right so recover some uh, stamina Yeah, hopefully I can make some time up here yeah, over there is a scripture of euphoria that we need. There we go. Right, I'm going to the third lamp. That one up there. Which is very tricky, actually, this third lamp. Very tricky to get without dying. The thing is, if you do die, it doesn't matter because you don't have to come back here. You've done all the lamps then. Right, so you've got to get to that third lamp. Got it. Yeah, so just back off here where we were. Yeah, if you did die there, all you need to do um just go back in the teleporter and when you spawn in the teleporter, just go up the stairs straight from the teleporter. As long as you press the lamp in, I think that that's the important part to get that lamp in. And no, the mushroom's not respawned yet, okay. Yeah, so like I say, we are going to have to die once, um, so we will we will get warped back to the start point at one point, and when that happens, that's when I'm going to upgrade my weapon to max. Yeah, so you just stand on this after doing all three lamps, and it open the door into the the dim gate. I've got all the items that we need so far in here, all the important items. Yeah, this way, like I said, this way dodging will be put to the test because them bloody female archers, uh, they they shoot three bolts in a row at you. So you got to make sure you're dodging right. Right, there's a inscription on there. So I need to lure these guys away. Because we have to examine the inscription, you need to make sure you've got time to examine it. Right. That should be enough time. Right, examine it. Yeah, make sure you examine it. Very important. Up here, got a scripture of euphoria that we need. There you go, scripture of euphoria. Right, yeah, this bit's very annoying. And some of the ledges. Wow. Yeah, see that one? Let it fire. That's it. Get this. Wow, slurry of tar. Oh, I didn't get it. Whoa, that was lucky. Yeah, so slurry of tar there. Normally, I have to go right around her. But she moved. Did you see her? She like nudged to the side slightly. So then I had to go to the left. I think they're trying to trick me. They know I always go around the right. And perhaps they were hoping I did. And I fell off. Yeah, normally I have to go around the right of her. And get that story of tar just be, uh, before I go past her. But yeah, she moved then. Uh, so scripture of Ardor there. And when you interrupt that lamp to unlock the door you get you get a remnant of tar the second scripture of our door and you'll get a glimpse of disdain yeah you get a glimpse of disdain a lot of guides say a glimpse of disdain is miserable but it's not because you have to get that one to progress and um, to pull that lamp to open the door uh, so round here now this one over here you can fall off so be careful yeah, you can fall off these ones, so you've got to be very careful. 
Sometimes on the left, there'll be a little gap. Yeah, like these depths here, be very careful. And what I do, I normally come here. Let them fire a few times. Yes, come on. Okay. So go in this teleporter first. Yeah, this one first because we're going to hit the um, shortcut. Yes, yeah, shortcut uh, elevator. Wow. Let's send that down. Yeah. Because like I say, we are going to have to die in a minute. And then I come back through here uh, because there's going to be a etching we need to get. Well, just so just past the hour mark. Right, going to go in the teleporter on the other side now. Should be careful because when you're going in these, some of them crossbow women can shoot you. So be very, very careful. They can just catch you still slightly. Uh, so untarnished mask. You need one of them. And over here is the last etching here. There we go. You make sure you examine it. The, this etching and the one we got before it earlier at the bottom of the um, uh, crossbow gauntlet. Them two are missable. So make sure you don't forget to get them. And make sure you examine them as well, of course. Right, so let's go and get the mango. We've got to die just for a fucking piece of fruit. I'll die for an apple, but not for a mango. Yes, yeah, so there he is, Corbett. He's the guy which um, is missable, um, but he gives you access to three glimpse, glimpses. Can't even say the bloody word now. You can get them all with him in one playthrough. You have to be friendly to him first. I think it's by being Eridrim, or is it Haros? And then you be then you be the other one, and you'll get the option to kick him off. I can't remember what order it is now, but you use Aerodrim and Haros. One will let you kick him off, and one he will sort of give you a glimpse. Right, so it's going to come around the right here. You watch. I better mess up getting this mango now. And there's this quenching acid over here. The reason I got this one instead of the one in the chest near the first lamp is because it's this one. There's no danger in getting it. It's no danger. Right, so the man goes down there on a the chest. And I just sort of run off here. And you can steer in the air, by the way. You can steer in the air. There it is. All that for a mango. And now we've got to kill ourselves. Yeah, you can, you can steer in the air. So don't think you've got to jump off or roll off and land and start the fall directly above it. Once you've, once you've jumped off, try and steer towards the platform. And then obviously make sure you harden at the last minute so you don't take any damage. Yeah, so that's the death we have to do. And now we're back here. And now after this, we're going to head to the boss. But now we're going to upgrade my weapon, Max. And we're going to defeat Haddon and unlock the uh, Martyr's Sword. Yep. And then we're going to do Forbidden Offering as well. There we go. Right, let's... um. Unlock the uh, no, it's not, it's not the mitre sword. Sorry, guys, it's a hammer and chisel. Mitre sword is in the ice area. Yeah, so it's going to take about five minutes to get to the boss, and then a few minutes killing him. Yeah, I think it's going to take about two and a half hours. I've died far too much. Far too much. Yeah, that's um, that's the song so don't die in this boss or the next one or the last one. The the cleanup probably takes about thirty minutes. The cleanup. Uh, right. So obviously it's going to be very quick with hammer and chisel, hammer and chisel. But it's it's the same it's sort of the same. Way. Why is it not hardening? Wow. But it's the same way as all the previous attempts. Wait for him to harden, then do a running jump, harden yourself. When he attacks and staggers, get two hits in and then dodge away and repeat. Yeah, if you manage to get an R1 attack going uh, when you harden, you can sometimes get another attack. Yeah, be careful, he attacks. Whoa! <laughs> he attacks very fast. That jumping attack he does is very, very fast. Right, do my special.
Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, see, he didn't stagger properly then. And that's what you got to watch... Wow. That's what you got to watch out for when he doesn't stagger properly. I was quite lucky then. Um, I managed to dodge away in time. Oh, what am I doing? Right, that didn't go too bad. Killed him first time. Right, let's get some resolve while we're waiting. Waited to be eaten up by a big carp. A catfish. There we go. The founding fish. Right, so we've we've unlocked the hammer and chisel, and we've upgraded our weapon, and we've unlocked the forbidden offering. Right, let's do it. Do not talk to Sessa Janessa again, you'll find out soon. Why? Basically, when we kill the boss, we're going to use the Tarnish Mask and we're going to warp back to Fulgrim Tower. Yeah, so them mushrooms would have spawned by now. They would have respawned by now, even if I hadn't died. Because it takes a lot longer than five minutes to from when we first came here and for all them steps we've just done. Right, so up here now, I'm going to leave that mushroom down there. I did used to get them in previous runs, but... I actually get the mushroom trophy a lot earlier than what I used to. So I don't think I need to. Well, I've got some resolve ready there for the boss as well. But with the boss on this level, um, on the first stage, you don't want to. When you stagger him, he like he jumps away and he fires loads of bolts at you. So you really want to try not to stagger him in this first stage. The second stage, you can stagger him, yes. Oh, where am I going? Oh, yeah, I've got the elevator. Yes! <laughs> I haven't got to fucking go that stupid um, crossbow gauntlet again. Uh, some mortal tokens over here. Yeah, these come in handy for um, uh, when you're doing the cleanup. Because when you're hardening, uh, when you get hit while hardened, they heal your health back. So, the thing is with mushrooms, in the heat of battle, it can be tricky uh, getting out of the way and um, using a mushroom, especially if you've got no stamina left. But if you've got a mortal token buff active, uh, going into a battle, when you harden, I put that back down just in case, yeah when you harden you get some health back, so they're quite handy to get ready before going into battle, because once it's active it stays active until you die I guess, or obviously use it. Right, hopefully I don't die on this boss, because you can see it takes about 5 minutes to get back to him. Yeah, it takes ages to get back to this boss. You know what? I might, I might just go silent for this boss. So I need to really, I really need to focus. Um, that's not really. What else do we collect here? Oh, we get one more. That's one more Solomon's effigy. We get another unknown effigy, but it's Solomon's one. And um, we get a slurry of tar, but nothing else we get. And with the effigies. Um, Obviously, you're supposed to use four um, to max the familiarity, but obviously with Solomon's uh, skill, you only need to use two. But with Solomon's effigy, obviously because she can't be Solomon when you're using it, they, that that bit of path just a little bit too narrow, so I like to walk slowly there. Yeah, with Solomon's effigy, obviously you can't be, you have to be a different shell to use it. That's why you need four because you have to use them all. Right, I'm going to be jumping down here. There it is. There we go. And be careful, there are a few crossbow women around here. Uh, once you get down there a bit further, that'll be it. Yeah, you know, crossbow women. No more. As long as we don't die. And got to run through this again. Yeah, just get my stamina back because we've got to roll by that hammer guy yet. The big tall dudes, they've got to be about 8 foot. And we're going to get slurry of tar. And we'll get mushroom as well. Yeah, so I'm going to get slurry. There, you, there we go. And there's a mushroom here. I normally forget this mushroom, but um, I guess I remembered it this time. Right, here we go. Can I do this first time? I hope I can. There we go. Yummy. Drink out the Holy Grail. Oh no, it's a fake. It's an imposter. Right, obviously make sure you hide in there. Otherwise you will die when you land. Right, here we go. 
Uh, Crucix, the twin, the twice born. He was born twice. Yeah, so try not to do any specials during his first phase because when he staggers, he hides behind a shield and the little baby, the little mini Crucix will lob um, bolts at you and it's quite tricky to dodge. Right. Yeah, he always starts off with that and you can normally get some hits in. Yeah, if he ever dodges away like that, quickly get close to him. That's it. Yeah, and what I do, when he does that combo, where he does a lunge in the spit where he lunges with a spear at the end, on the first phase, that's when you can get some attacks in. No, that's not it. It'll be one. No, that's not it. Oh, he's doing that again. One, two, this this is it. When he does that combo, that's when you can get some good few hits in. And once you've got him to about a third health left, he'll do an attack where he jumps in the air. Like this. And you want to try and harden during that. You can dodge it. But it's easy to harden. You can dodge it, but it's easy to harden. And after he's done it, there's a big window to attack him as well. Right. A few more hits and he's toast. Well, second stage anyway. Here we go, three hit combo. Well, ah oh no. Right, that's the first stage. Second stage, you've only got time to get one hit in most of the time, unless you're parrying. Yeah, it's just whenever there's a window, one hit and then dodge away. Uh, one hit and dodge away. You've got to be very careful. He's very fast in this stage, and not much staggers him. There's not much window to attack in between his attacks. Um, you can use your specials now. But you've got to be very careful because sometimes they might miss him if he's spinning around you doing an attack. And yeah, but I start off, I normally start off with a few specials. You can normally get four hits in sometimes after special. Yeah. Right, I'm going to get another one now. Another one. Didn't seem to do much damage that. Right, I'm gonna play it safe now. One more hit, come on. Oh no, one more I guess. Oh wow, did him first time. Did I get a trophy for beating him, Rod? Because sometimes trophies can glitch. Wow, just got to make sure I've got a trophy for beating Nimrod, guys. Yes, I don't remember seeing that. Um, Fade of the Fire. Yeah, thank God. Because I've I've had this trophy glitch before. This one for beating um, uh, the Twice Born Crucix. I've had this I've had this not pop before. I don't know why. I guess sometimes they can glitch. Right, so we've got that gland now. Not a gland. And after you've got that... Um, we can use the Tarnish Mask and walk back. You obviously make sure you get that out first. Otherwise you've got to come all the way back here. And this is going to take me all the way back to Sesto in Fulgrim Tower. Yeah, just like that guys. All the way back to Sesto, nice. And where are we going now? Oh yeah, 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 got it. Right, so I'm going to come down here now and get another etching. Yeah, etching there. And I'm gonna kill. I'm gonna kill um, a uh, one of the Grishas here. You don't have to kill this one. Wow, is he gonna kill me? Wow. Okay, I lost all my. Um... I lost all my resolve. It that that's annoying. That is where. When you harden, do an attack, uh, when you fall in and harden, it's, you can be, you're, you're sort of vulnerable for about five seconds. Stupid. 
Right, so we're going to go down the same way again. Yeah, why, why does it leave you vulnerable for like bloody five minutes? <laughs> five seconds. Okay, I'm not going to go down here before. Normally I can reach him with my, um, that hardened plunge. But I'll come down a safe way, I think. Yeah, let's come down here. Whoa, wow. Yeah, so... Yeah, I'm going to kill these. You'll find out one in a minute. Like I say, I'm going to... I'm going to kill the Grisha. None following. Make sure none are following you. Yeah, see, these two are following me. Why? Wow, he's going to jump on me. Right. Just going to make sure none are following me. Uh... Yes. Right, it's going to take him out. He goes down pretty quick, actually, this guy. There we go. Yeah, so I'm going to loot this chest. You'll get a glimpse of courage. And... Right... I need to be careful now. They're going to be dropping down. I want to get his mushrooms, basically. Mushroom there. One here. So I've got them two mushrooms. And, yeah, well, it's going to drop down there. Yeah, they follow you for a long way, so you've got to be very careful with them. Right. Yeah, that one there. I'm going to get this mushroom here. Whoa, what? What? Oh, I got stuck. Whoa. Stupid. <laughs> got stuck. Don't know what happened then. I just rolled. I must have rolled on top of his body and it launched me into the air. Right, and I want to get my um, tar back. Oh, it's stuck. Stupid. Okay. Oh, I got it. Oh, <laughs> I didn't think I did. Oh, wow, I did. Right, there we go. Got our machine. Right, let's go. Watch out for the there's frog there. Yeah, watch out for the frog. Right, let's loot that chest. My to show and go in quick. Yeah, so that's it, guys. That's all the frog chests looted. I don't need to loot any more frog chests. So when we get back, we can get rid of the mist and don't need to worry about it. Yeah, that's all the frog chests done. So at the end of the game, we're just going to be doing all the um, all the sort of loot uh, we need in just in the normal sort of stage of the area. So I'm not going to rest at Sester. Not going to rest. Uh, there's some mushroom here. There we go. And then let's do the mitre sword. Yeah. So. You're going to fight the enslaved Grisha here. And there's there's quite a big skip to get down the bottom quickly. Yeah, it, it takes you down to the bottom of the um, dungeon really quick. What I try and do, I actually try and... Um, I go into camera mode and I try and show you uh, how to do it a lot easier. Because if you don't do it right, you sort of, you go into, you'll fall into the dead zone and it kills you instantly. You've got to fall down in the right place. Right, so this is the last time we have to fight Haddon. For Platinum, anyway. Yeah, he dies very quick. So, just the same... Well, yeah, same as before. And if he doesn't stagger properly like he didn't, then only dodge once and then get away. I did attack twice and I probably should have only attacked once. I've been cocky. Right, so I've got a special, but I need to wait for him to harden first. It's not wasted. Right, it's about dead now. I don't think I've got used to the next special. He's dead. 
Uh, he, he had to, he had to not stagger properly. Yeah, so what I'm trying to do, I'm, I'm sort of baiting this hard in attack. But yeah, you got to be very careful in case he doesn't, in case he tries to attack you. Right, just building up some resolve while I'm waiting. He's sinking. Back, back to the depths where he came. Mango, yes, we've got the mango. If you if you don't get a mango, by the way, it's missable. You have to wait till the next playthrough. Right, we've done all them. Let's go. Right, so I need spectral token. There we go. Got them two times spectral token. Can I get past, please? Thank you. And I'm going to get this mushroom here. You probably don't want to get this mushroom because... Yeah, that one there. Where's... Whoa! Oh, I thought... I... Sorry, I thought it rolled off the stairs. I thought it rolled off the steps then. Yeah, two times task ball there. And some more mushrooms over here. Two times welt cap. Right, there he is. I've got full resolve for him. You gotta be very careful because when he when he hits the ground hard it makes um Yeah it makes sort of massive ice cubes fall. Well not ice cube, um icicles fall from the ceiling. So you gotta be very careful. And once he's dead, roll away from him. Or harden. Because loads of icicles will fall down when he dies. Just wait for the vibration to stop. There we go. Yeah, be very careful. Even once you've killed him, guys. When he, when he hits the ground hard, all them icicles fall down. <clears throat> and, um... Yeah, over here, we've got a glimpse of... Uh, sorry, an etching. Yeah, an etching there, guys. And you have got an effigy here. We don't need that. But, um, yeah, that's a tile. Teal effigy. Yeah, so just make sure you get that etching. Yeah, even when he even when he dies, um, all the ice icicles fall down. So be very careful when he hits the ground hard. Yeah, so in this chest we've got the golden bell. Do not talk to Sester. We've got a golden bell and another solemn offering. We needed the golden bell from there. Gonna drop down here. And we need this congealed tar. <clears throat> Alright, back up. Open that door. Right, we're going to get the It's A Me trophy here by dropping off and hardening and killing these two with a hard and plunge. You don't have to kill them both, you've just got to kill one. But if you can kill them both, that's great. Right, let me show you this, guys. Right, I'm going to pause this here. Right, so you see this bridge? This pillar here, this pillar, You want to if you fall down next to the pillar, uh, you won't die. But if you're too far away, like sort of out here, you'll enter a dead zone and you'll die instantly. You want to try and stay close to this pillar when you fall down and you can sort of do this. So off here and then try and steer towards it and then harden and you'll come all the way down the bottom. And that's a bit of a shortcut and that should work in the DLC as well. I've not tried it in the DLC yet, but I hope it does. So in this chest we've got Ethereal Diapason and a Unjoint Tar. Right, we're at the boss now. And here we've got a... Uh, Glimpse of Fertility, another Glimpse of Fertility, got two Spectral Tokens, we need them. You got another Glimpse of Fertility there, you don't need all them, but where you need the Spectral Tokens, but you don't need all the Fertilities. Uh, you got another Etching here guys, there we go, make sure you hit it and examine it. Right, don't talk to Sester, and right, that's all we need to do in this area, just got to beat the boss now. Hopefully I can do this one first, try as well, save a bit of time there. And then I may be, I may be close to two hours then. I don't think I'll get it underneath, but I may be close to ice. The last boss takes about 10 minutes. Just because that bloody whirlpool, he um, he summons that whirlpool, and that, that takes about fucking three minutes. Yeah, so going to drink from the uh, toxic chalice again. I think I need to get some cowpaw after drinking that. It hurts, it hurts so much, it hurts so much. 
I was going to go sleep and dream about this boss. What happens? It, it sort of takes you in like a sort of nightmare world where you have to fight these. I don't know. In your dreams. Right, so um, first of all, he always does two or three dashes at you. And uh, if you harden, if you attack and harden at the same time, sometimes you can attack him during one of his dashes. Right, need to get my tar. There we go. Right, what's he doing? Is he doing another one or is he going to spawn? Or is he going to animate? He's animating. You can tell. You have got, you've got to listen to so, uh, sound effects for this boss. He'll stagger. I knew he was going to stagger. Well. You're dead, mate. Right, let's get away from him. Right, let's try again. Fourth time. That one. It wouldn't be so bad if all my specials hit him. It wouldn't be so bad. Right, special time. Yeah, that's the one. Very quick. Well, special. Ah, uh, come on! Almost got him. Yeah, you got to be very quick to get out of the time. Die! Yes, hit him! Hit him! Awesome! Got him! Wow! Come back! Where are you going? I want to make sure he's dead. I do not want it. Wow! Fuck! I got him. One more boss left. Fuck. One hour forty-five. Right, let's get the crystallized gland. Take that. Take your brain out. There we go. Don't need it. Right, let's warp. Yeah, you get that. You get a nascent tar every time you. Uh, every time you kill a boss, you do get a nascent tar. I think that's only four in the game. You get one from each of the first three bosses, and you find one in Forgrim, in Nascent Tar. Right, so all we're going to do, we're going to go straight on to the last boss. Yeah, let's do it. Let's harden. Right, hello, <laughs> the Unchained. Sounds like Optimus Prime a bit. I was thinking the other day, it just sounded a bit like Prime. Bring the glands back to me. A little bit, only a little bit. Yeah, so obviously you get that trophy when you first return a gland to him. So normally everyone's got that trophy, like, probably one of their first trophies. Right. Infusion, tarnished seal. Right, I'm going to jump straight down there. Come on, mate, let's get straight down there. Imagine if I forgot to pick up a gland. <laughs> Oh, it's time. it is time, yeah. Right, here we go. The 10 minute boss. 10 minute boss fight. Yeah, so if you if you watch my PS4 Platinum walkthrough from uh, last year, you can st you could stun lock, you could stun lock this boss then with the hallowed sword. You get him in like a stun lock with the um, special ability. But they patched it out so he, he, he reacts funny now to special attacks. Most of the time, they're still staggering, but sometimes, if you hit him during a, uh, a certain attacks, if you hit him, he like jumps away from you. And if you try and hit him when he's diving into the water to do the whirlpool attack, you I don't think it's staggering. You, you can't actually stagger him like you used to be able to before. Um, yeah, so you can't, you can't still knock him now, unfortunately. Because he, he jumps away a lot of the time when you special ability him. Um, but I still, 
I still don't. I still don't find it that bad. His attacks. His attacks are still the same. You just can't stun knock him, basically. Um, and you have to go for the full fight. Obviously, when you could stun knock him, you could totally ignore the um, the will pull attack, but you can't now. And when he summons his minions, by the way, he normally does some when he's about third health or half, and then he he does some he summons him again after the will pull. He he'll summon six first. And then after that he'll summon 10, and then on the third time he summons them, he'll summon uh, 7. So he summons 6, summons 10, and he summons 7. He'll do he'll summon the 6 and the 10 before the whirlpool, and the 7 after them. It's normally when you've dealt so much damage to him. And you know because he actually hits the ground with his right hand. When he hits the ground with his right hand, that's when he's summoning the minions, so be very careful. It's best not to lock onto him uh, when the minions are spawned. Yeah, so I always start off with this. And they go R1, R1, R2. Circle to dodge. <laughs> already, already messed up. Yeah, I normally dodge back, but I did press circle, but he didn't dodge. Yeah, because he, he, he do that attack, and you can sort of dodge back. Why is she not uh, staggering? Oh, there we go. There we go, jumping away. And here come, here come the minions. Here come my doppelgangers. My clones. How... Why should I be free? When the Enchained is locked in this abyss. So he, he wants to kill me just because I'm allowed to um, reclaim whatever it was. Is there one more? Did I count six? Yeah, I guess so. I guess I did. But it's only five. Wow. I almost pressed the wrong button then. Gonna summon the ten and then a bit more damage and uh, should be time for the whirlpool. Let's go behind him. Just so I can see all your little spawns. Oh, I'm out of the map here. Hit an invisible there's an invisible wall there. Where's Fulgrim Tower? They're miles away, right at the edge of the map. Let's do it. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, got to dodge away. Isn't it? It's because of all this uh, diver through wall force while you get bloody so far away. Okay, so that's the. Um, uh, sorry, diver through the tsunamis. Okay, so I'm just going to let them spawn, guys. Fuck it, I'm not risking it. Sometimes one of these will get through, like this guy. Wow, little ninja. Them two almost. Oh, I thought they did then. Oh, yeah, let's look. What do you have Oh, and him over there as well. Bloody hell, three got three. They didn't get sucked into the black hole, these guys. It's a shame that you don't have some sort of um, ranged dagger or something. That could be good here. 
Oh, him as well. I oh, know he's slowly getting sucked in. Oh, no, he's not. Yeah, there's a... I think Haddon. Is it Haddon? He's got a special attack. Oh, yeah. It's his... Uh, instead of kicking, he can, he can lob a knife as well. A dagger. But... He uses resolve by, so it won't be that good here. Whoa. I almost didn't, I almost wasn't going to dodge out in time. Get out of the way. Yeah, I almost didn't dodge then because I didn't think he was going to do that attack. I thought he was going to do a different one. Doing the rolling. Right. Let's do a spe oh, I'm not going to reach him, am I? What a waste. The hitbox is really weird for him. Shit. Yeah, I, I'm sure that will damage me. Yeah, I think that will damage me. But I think he's going to summon the last bunch of minions in a minute. Well, that's lovely. Alright, little tiny bit of health. Go and summon them. Here they come. Alright, should be seven. Straight behind him. Six. One more. There we go. That's all. That's it. No more minions after these. Oh shit! I'm about. I'm at the edge of the arena. That's it. No more minions. Right. Don't jump. Fucking idiot. <laughs> he had to jump away. You watch, you're gonna fucking die now. Don't jump away. One special attack and he's dead. Right, don't go nowhere. Yay. Oh. <laughs> Missed him, of course. Fucking hell. What a fucking joke. Oh. So, only the second boss has gone as planned for me. First, third and last. It's took me fucking ages. Okay. So, on this, end, on this um, there's that trophy for killing him, fell the grandfather, and I'll get three more. Um, you pop these trophies whether you ascend or you don't. To go into New Game Plus, you have to ascend. Um, so, you get a glimpse of fallacy. Use that to um, get the equipped as shades. Yeah, so choose no. Uh, because if you choose yes, you go into new game plus, and obviously you won't be able to do nothing in your end game cleanup. So you want to choose no, so you spawn and you'll spawn back and um, back at Cesta Janessa. You still have you'll still have that glimpse of fallacy. Right? Can I get this under three hours? Fuck! I thought it'd be much quicker than that. I honestly thought I didn't. Yeah, I didn't think I'd have as much trouble as that, guys. Okay, so what do I do? Yeah, so I know what I do. First, I go and get Solomon. I've just got to try and remember now the order I do everything. 
Yeah, so mist has gone, but we don't need to do anything in the mist now. As long as I don't lose my tile, which I need for later. Right, so I'm going to get these mushrooms. I've still got to get a trophy for getting all the mushrooms. Oh, shit. Fuck. <laughs> that made me jump then. Fucking bear trap. Who put them there? If you want to catch a grisha, you have to put them inside the cave, not outside. Right, let's go and get Solomon, and then we're going to kill him. And then that'll pop us a trophy for killing all three all grisha types. There's only three types. You've got the mist type, the enslaved one, which is story related, and that one there. Yeah, it's got to kill this guy. He's munching on the infinitely bone. He just can't quite get through the meat. Right, so let's get it. Solomon shell. Yeah, we've got a trophy now for him. Um, is it forever, forever alone? Uh, life is suffering as well. Yeah, so um, we're going to penetrate uh, Solomon now and uh, take control of his body. His shell. There you go. Penetration has been completed. Right, flesh and instinct. Yeah, so just next to his shell, there's uh, etching here. There we go. Yeah, an etching. So Solomon, his stamina will go really slow. If using a shell and going to a shell, it's quite a big jump in stamina unless you go to tail. So before you could just spam attacks, but now you've really got to watch your stamina bar. Yeah, you've really got to watch stamina bar now. Yeah, I was trying to, I was trying to um, parry him. Then went wrong. Oh, I went right then. Yeah, parrying works really well on these guys. Yeah, I'm trying to get my special attack, but it's not going to happen. Because I'm too busy parrying him. Right, so I've got no stamina left now. It's alright. There wasn't really any need for that because he had like five health left. Right, so um, yeah, don't need to do anything else. Right, killed him. Got a uh, trophy and I got some tar. Now back to Sesta, and we're just going to upgrade two skills for Solomon. We don't want to upgrade anything else. It's just these skills that I'm going to. You'll find out why a little bit later. Right, so uh. Right, so um, we want to seek the name for that. Yep. And we also, yeah, we want to buy this one, but I need eight. I need eight glimpses. Yet, if you don't have any glimpses, by the way, you can just use one of them. Because you don't have the ability yet, use one that only needs one to max it out, like this one, glimpse of courage. Yeah, because if you use one which needs more, you're just wasting it. And you might not have enough. So we're going to buy that accretion of foresight. I might need more actually. Yeah, it becomes familiar with items more quickly. And we also want the kick. So there's a trophy related to that. So recollection of strength as well. Right. That's it. Right, let's just get our healing items ready. And uh, remove that. Put that there. Yeah, because you're going you're gonna to start taking a bit of damage now. Um, but good thing is now when you use them, as long as you're Solomon, you're going to get double uh, familiarized with it. Yeah, use that for all that. If you ever lose your shell, shell, use the diapason, so it'll give you your shell back. And I guess we've got a tainted nectar that can give you health back as well. It just knock you out your shell, but you do get full health when you get it back. Right. So um, just try and remember where where do I go first? Oh yeah, I'll go this way first. That's the one. Yeah, go this way first. Basically, we, we go and get um, Eridrim first. Yeah, this is the end game cleanup now, basically. Yeah, I could easily remove an hour from this. Easily. I guess if you add in all my deaths, I might edit all the deaths out yet. I see. Um, we'll see. Because the video will be much shorter if I edit them out. 
So all I'm doing now, I'm just getting them three or eight tokens. And behind here, it's a nascent tar and uh, rotten food that we need. Do you see that hardening then just actually saved my bacon? Uh, it's mushroom there. Yes, yeah, so if you have a mortal token active, if you do take damage, you can just harden to get damage back. Yeah, but you have you have got to watch your stamina. Your stamina will deplete very, very quickly. Right, so down here's a mushroom down here. Bastard fucking hit me in the back. Yeah, so got that mushroom. Uh, Solomon FG up here, which we need. When you seek the name with each shell, you also get an FG for doing that, by the way. Yeah, when you seek name with each shell. You're getting effigy for doing that. So we need we need two with Haros Aerodrim. Yeah, so there guys, Solomon effigy. Yeah, you need two with Haros Aerodrim and Tile. But with Solomon you need four. Um but you only need to collect one and uh, one, one, one and three. Because like I say, you get one when you get when you purchase the name from Sester. So this is Aerodrim cell shell, and you notice when we get him and we go back Solomon, we're gonna lose all our health. So all we want, we just wanted to pick up a shell, and then we're going to use this to, um, where is it, this one here, FG of Solomon, we're going to use that, there you go, you should have four, you should have four now, that's it, you'll, you'll see you have no health left, but if you use a mango, you'll get all your health back and all your resolve back, and now we can go and kick this guy off, you need to kick this guy off here basically, they need to be kicked into a pit, sort of, like that. Oh, not quite. Let's go again. Yeah, sometimes it don't work properly. He'll get caught on invisible on a visible roof. Oh, he did die. Yeah, he'll, he'll, he'll sort of get caught. He'll collide on part of the um, floor, I guess. But it's because he's above the abyss, it still counts. And it'll pop that trophy. Um, right, so let's do it. Motherfucker. Right, so we need to do this chest up here. There we go. Unknown FG, that's, uh, that's a Aerodrim FG that we're going to need later. Yeah, I'm, I'm having to walk just so I don't lose all my stamina. Because you'll lose your stamina so quick. If you keep rolling and then you'll get close to an enemy and you have no stamina to dodge him. It's completely, it's completely different to... Um, being a no-show with all that stamina. But at least you got health now. At least you can take more than one hit. Bastard. Okay, so over there is script of defiance times two. Yeah, so look here, I've got to go around the right side. Yeah, script of defiance times two, which we need. I'll uh, use that mortal uh, token in a minute. There we go. In there, it's three or eight tokens again. Uh, mushrooms there. Right, let's just use this so I get my health back if I get hit. Motherfucker. Right, so I'm just coming up here and I'm going to get this uh, Inferior Moonshine. I'll show you the map, but there isn't one, so I can't. Yeah, so it's it's so much easier when you don't have to worry about the fucking things jumping on you. Uh, roasted rat, there. Yeah, them bloody vampires. And that guy playing the um, shitty music, it's better than I play. He's going to drop some that we need, uh, but we're going to loot his chest first. Uh, we've got a bag of tires, period, moonshine, and a baguette. There we go, we want this. There we go, impervious loot, or loot. Yeah, that guy, he always follows you down and he hides around the corner. And when you come around there, he like always jumps out at you. That always happens. Now, there's going to be some frogs along here. Just remember to roll into them. Yeah, you're so strong, mate. There's normally one there, but it's not. Don't know why. So this bit's pretty tricky. Got to be very careful here. So there is a etching here somewhere. There is, but you've got to be quick. Remember to examine it. Right over here. 
we got boiled frogs times two in that uh, cooking bowl. Right, I'm going to lure everybody away now. I'm going to run out of stamina in a minute. Got to be very careful. Right, I've got to loot that chest now. Unknown FG and superior moonshine. That's a Haros FG, I believe it is. Ow! Right, you got to quickly get past that guy sitting down. Quickly get past him. And you, if he's chasing you, you're going to get in trouble. No, he isn't. And then just talk to Baghead here. Um, he'll ask for a roasted rat. So you give him a roasted rat. And he'll also ask for superior moonshine. So you give that to him as well. There we go. And then keep talking to him. And you'll um, waste your time. Waste your time away. Yeah, that... That last, that last enemy we passed, yeah, you get a brigand life trophy. That last enemy we passed, if he follows you, he kills you as you're talking to the baghead, and it's a pain in the ass. So, but if you if you work it so you don't go too close to him, and he he starts to stand up when you get past him. When they're standing up, basically they're not aware of you. Um, they'll be sitting down and they'll get sort of aware of something, and they start to stand up. Um, but he don't start to notice you again until they sort of stood up properly and basically they can become aware of you again. So there's a, there's a small window. When they're standing up, you can quickly get past them and they will not be a, they will not be aware of you if you get so far away. Um, but you've got to make sure you get far away from him before he stands up. And yeah, otherwise he'll come for you near Baghead. Um, if he does come for you, just kill him. Just get ready to kill him. He, he, they don't take too many hits. On um, with a Hallow Sword, max upgraded. When they've got no damage dealt to them, the first hit always staggers them, well, stuns them, so you can normally do R1, R1, R2, harden, and they get a few more attacks in, and they're dead. Right, so um, once you get to the credits, you can uh, skip it. Right, so that's one half of the map looted. <laughs> Let's go and loot the other half. And the 100 parry is going to take about 5 minutes. Yeah, so that's that half done. Now let's go and do the other, bit, the other bit. Right, so I'm just going to come this way so I can get some mushrooms again. If they've respawned, have they? Oh yes. Right, that one. Come over here. I do not need that item. That's a glimpse of wisdom, I believe. It's a wisdom or fertility, but I don't need it. He's going to come over here for a moment. Over here is going to be a roasted rat again and a remnant of tar. There's a remnant of tar and roasted rat on that little um, rug. There we go. And then come off the edge here. Another mushroom. There we go, and then we'll go and get the Haros shell. I shouldn't need many more mushrooms now, and I should have 50, and get the trophy for that. I'll actually have a look in a minute. So we're going to get this shell now, um, but then we're going to use Solomon again, and uh, yeah, then we're going to use Solomon again, and go back to him. Yeah, so 35, 13, I need two more mushrooms, and I'll get the trophy. Uh, where is he? Where's Solomon? There he is. There we go. Lost all my resolve. Fucking stupid. Right. Let's just... Um... Doesn't matter. I don't really need much resolve now anyway. Right. My health should start coming back now. There's a glitch, by the way. Um... You can only get one, well, I think you can get two or three golden bowls, bells, but um, it works pretty good on the DLC. Basically, if you use golden bowls from the inventory menu, golden bells, golden balls, if you use golden bells from the inventory menu, they get stuck. If you, lose, if you use like loads really quick, they get stuck on. Um, really cool glitch. Um, you'd have to do it in the DLC and see what I mean. Right, so congealed tar in here. And getting out of here can be a bit tricky.
Yeah, getting out there can be a little bit tricky. And I got hit then when I was hiding, but it didn't destroy my um uh my thing, I don't know why. So there's a roasted rat there. And there's an etch in here. That's the last roasted rat that we need, I think. Yeah, right. Once you've got all of them, make sure you've got that etching. Do the last little bit now. And then we can start um, cleaning up on the, all the shitty trophies. Wow. Oh, shit. Right, so there is a Fairy Moonshine, and I've got stuck here. What is going on? Yeah, Fairy Moonshine there. Uh oh, uh oh. Shit. Okay, let's use my baguette. Yeah, use the baguette. Only use this baguette when you've got that skill, otherwise, it's going to complete. You need two normally, but if you get that, you only need one with a skill. So, last mushroom. There we go, fungi. Right, superior moonshine over here. So I don't need to collect any mushrooms now. Superior moonshine there, guys. Yeah, so you can see you can die really you can die pretty quickly you can. If you're not careful. Right, I'm actually gonna use one of these superior moonshines that will come in handy in a minute. Um actually no, I shouldn't need to actually. So this should be the last etching here in a second. Last etching. There we go, last one. That should be 17. Wow, imagine if the trophy didn't pop. <laughs> Fuck. Ah. If you miss one and it's one of the missable ones on this in the Seat of Infinity place, well, you are in trouble. So it means going into new game plus. But I think everything does carry over. I think it all does carry over. Um, okay, so let's kill this guy. Just got enough for my special. There okay, go, he's not too bad. Right, make sure you get his glimpse, uh, Solomon. Oh no, fuck. Oh, it's over the glimpse. Okay, so that's the last shell. Oh yeah, do not pick up that glimpse. That's the last shell, so um, I need to walk back to Solomon now. Back to Solomon, yes, no health again. It, it's fucking stupid. That's got, it's got to be a glitch, that, surely. That I've never patched, but that's been there for, since release, that. Right, actually, I'm going to use the rats now. The rats, uh, they actually drain your health, so do the boiled frogs. Uh, sorry, drain your resolve. So I'm going to use them now to heal. Remember, if you haven't done Baghead, you need one rat for Baghead and one superior moonshine for him. And where's the boiled frogs? Oh, there they are. Yeah, you see, this boiled frog gets stuck on. Because similar to Golden Bell, if you use the Boiled Frog from the inventory menu, it gets stuck. You see I've got two active at the moment, the Boiled Frog. Well, one of them is going to get stuck. The Roasted Rats don't get stuck, unfortunately. Oh, that would be good if the Roasted Rat did. But the Boiled Frogs, they get stuck on. So, so does the Golden Bell and so does the um, Bronze Bell. They all get stuck on. Okay, so we've got to get a, uh, I think it's a Undurant Tar we need from here. And then we need Glimpse of Truth, and we've got everything. Oh, and a Spectral Token. Motherfucker. Right, so underneath here. Undurant Tar, there it is. Oh, I've got no fucking stamina there. All oh, this bolts bounced off my head. Guess I'm just target practice for them. It's a shame they don't miss. Well, no, well, I guess they don't miss, do they? They always hit you. They only miss you if you're moving. I was going to say, it's a shame they don't miss sometimes, but they do. Um, that item back there is a glimpse of wisdom, I think, but we don't need it. So over here, spectral token. Yes, we need that spectral token. We should have five of them now. And one more item we need to collect. And then we've got everything. And then all we need to do then is uh, buy the upgrades, um, use them all, get a few mixed trophies. Yeah, so in here is a glimpse of truth, and you want to get your actually you want to get your mask ready so you can warp. Yeah, so I'm going to warp with the untarnished mask. Uh, there it is. 
uh, quick slot. Yeah, so have that ready. We're going to use that in a minute. The untarnished mask, because that won't use all your glimpse. There we go. You just want that, and they can use it, guys. Glimpse of truth. I don't know if you get any more of them in the game. If you do, I don't remember where the rest are. Right, so um, now we've done that. Time to start using our items. Right, so got to use another one of them. Yes, yeah, so you're basically just going to use all your items now, guys. But we're not going to do the shells just yet. Do not buy any skill. Don't spend any tar, basically, just yet. Yeah, do not spend any tar just yet. We'll put that there. So we're going to use it in a minute. Use this tar spores. Can't use that yet. Yes. Did I use that? No, I didn't. Then, you can use, see, these are basically some of your weapons, but you also need to max familiarity with them as well. Bronze Bell. Um, Glimpse of Affection. You don't need to use them all. As, long as, you, as soon as you've maxed them out, you can stop using them. I think I'm using them uh, glimpses a bit too much. Uh, bag of tar. Yes, undulant tar. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use all the tar. You'll find out soon. Hope. Um, don't need to use these. They're already maxed. They're the ones you get from the bosses, remember. Extracted tar. Uh, tainted nectar. Yeah, it's going to knock me out, Michelle. Like so. But they're actually quite good. You, farm, you, farm, you get these from vampires. And you can actually buy these. Um, but when you go back in show, you get full health. Um, what else? Where were we? Cestus uh, Binding. Ornate Token. Some of these items, that's only just enough for what you need. So um, it really does help having Solomon's skill. Okay, um, rotten, oh, rotten food use should resolve as well, I forgot about that, fuck, I, I don't really have much, you just want to make sure you, you use everything that um, takes resolve away, use that um, before you use your moonshines, because your moonshines give you resolve, and you don't really want to take it away, just in case, euphoria, ardor, uh, disdain, I know there's only two of them in the game, Disdain. Uh, Martyr Shaw. Uh, Spectral Token. Yeah, so we've got exactly five of them. They don't seem to work with special attacks. I don't think, Spectral Tokens, unfortunately. I think all they do, they add 10, they just add 10 damage to your basic attacks, I think. I think that's what they do. Uh, Golden Bell. These are real good, these diapasons. Look at that, it gives you full health, gives you all your resolve back, and it also gives you a, um, a life back, basically like a shell life. Uh, defiance. Uh, Fury Moonshine, we've got just enough of them. There is one more of them around the map. I think it's down the path from a. Uh, from uh, the um, the first level area with a flame boss, it's Pyrian Moonshine. We had three of these, but we had to give one to Baggard, remember? And Roasted Rats, you can actually buy them from the um, from the um, MC at the top. We'll go to them a bit later. Oh yeah, fuck. Bit out of tune there. Yes, yeah, so you just use it and then you move the analog stick. Movement stick to uh, get back up. Uh, but glimpse of truth. Right, let's just uh, lob that there. Right. Right, now we've done all that, guys. Um, let me just show you how we're looking in the compendium. So we've got all the etchings. So in law, all the etchings are complete. All 17. 17 of them. And sorry, yeah, if you go into items, yeah, see, these are all matched. These are all maxed.
Don't worry about these FGs, we're going to do them a bit later, but not right now. That's a DLC item, don't worry. And so are these, uh, that one is, and that's a seasonal item. Don't worry about them, they're not needed for this. Weapons and equipment doesn't matter. I just needed that so I can use these, the, um, the uh, items that you let, let you spawn, that let you call the weapons into your hands. Key items doesn't matter. Uh, currency, you do need all of this, but as you can see, they're all maxed. Glimpse, glimpses, this is everyone that you need. But you do not need them three, and you do not need a reverie. Basically, the bottom four, you don't need them. Unlimited use, yes, you need all of these. Tattered vestment, I've got used that yet. You need all of these. Um, we need that item, and we need, yeah, you need that item, but we get that later. These other two, do not need. Do not need. They're DLC related. Right. Just got to use that tattered vestment. Is that this one here? Yeah. Let's just use that. Right. And... Right. We're just going to get a few missed trophies in a minute. I'm just going to max out these loots. So you got to do this five times each with each of the loots. Yes. Right, one more time, and then we'll switch to the simple loot. There we go. And uh, the 100 parries trophy doesn't actually take that long. You can sort of get one parry every uh, sort of few seconds. Don't take that long, actually. Right, and we'll get a last one. Uh, there's a trophy for playing the loot near a bunch of enemies. That are playing the loot. And there's an enemy just around the corner, actually near the mushrooms, that's playing the loot. And you can't get too. If you get too close, he'll stop playing. So you have to make sure you don't get too close. And you just start playing yours, and uh, you get a trophy for that. Yeah, see that? You see that boiled frog? The first um, buff on the menu. It's got stuck. That's what happens if you use like loads of golden bells. They get stuck. Right. That should once you start playing. This should pop a trophy. There we go. Good time to kill me. And it'll pull that guy over there to your to you. And this guy, this naked guy, half naked. Oh, the other, he's quite good, Parry. Oh, I find him quite good. We'll get him over here. Out of the way of the other guys. Right. Let's go. Get mushrooms ready. If you need to heal, just use the mushroom and while you're using it, um, harden. Okay, I've just got to get used to rhythm, guys. Give me a moment. There we go. Oh, shit. Why did that happen? Oh, yeah. Because I had the um, scriptures active. Fuck. <laughs> right, you get up. Right, it says get one of these in a trap. Oh, wow. Oh, that's because... Um, Right, he's going to walk in that trap, and he's going to die, that'll get me a trophy, step goal, but watch your step mate, right, oh I got to kill one of these, okay you can die mate, you had to be the hero didn't you, right so I've got to get 100 now guys, yeah you can get like a little momentum going, it'll just, oh, yeah, so I think that's five. Shit. If you keep parrying him, he'll, he'll do it really quick. But if he gets a hit on, he will sort of... Um, yeah. Pause for a minute. Fucking hell. My timing is really bad with this. It'll just take me a moment to get used to the timing again. Don't go near the trap. I think that's seven. I'm just going to count in my head and I'll let you know once I've done 10. I think anyway. That's 10. I guess it could be good having two enemies. So you can keep doing them. As soon as you've done one, you, you do the other one while the other one is stunned. Uh, you know, twice as quick. 
but I don't know if that will work. Right, it's about 17, I think. Yeah, it's not it's not too bad. Oh, I think that's 20. Yeah, the thing is, when you're doing no shell, you can't... It's very, very risky to parry. Because if you miss a, if you miss a parry, you're dead. There's no, there's like no room for error at all. So there we go. And um, that's about 30. It's very boring to <laughs> very boring to watch, right? It's boring to do. It's boring to do. I'm sure we've all had to do this. I mean, has this popped naturally for some people? I'm sure it has. Um, but if you try and get through the game quick, you just don't really use parry that much. Parry does do a lot of damage, by the way. If you if you're using the um, the uh, the one which puts like a it puts like a bomb in them, the inflamed gland. That does tons of damage, even on the DLC. If you use that on the boss, it fucking hell, it does so much damage to them. So yeah, you, once you get going, you get into like a little rhythm. I think that's 40. And then after this one, we're gonna do the um, we're gonna do the sugar, sugar baby, and you see my little trick for that. Yeah, basically it. We exploit the restore save feature that the developers put in the game. Because you, your saves can corrupt on this. I've had a save. I had a save corrupted a few days ago, and my save just wiped. I couldn't load it back up. But luckily, um, I could restore a save which was saved on the um, on the game. So uh, I got my save back. Well, basically, without this, you need to. You have to basically go in the mist. You go into the mist and keep killing them to Grishus in the mist and then back back to the um, Sesta, res uh, reset the map and uh, kill them all again. Just keep doing that. There's not really any better way to do it. You can go into New Game Plus and get a little bit more tar. Yeah, I think you get 50% 50, 50 more tar in New Game Plus. But the enemies are like a lot more stronger. You can upgrade your weapon to plus 10 in New Game Plus, but the enemies, they've got a... Their, their, basically, their difficulty has a higher jump than what your damage output is. Yeah, so... You'll find out, it's, it's not a case of you get to plus 10 and you start doing more damage to them than what you are now. You know, you're even with plus 10, you do less damage to them in New Game Plus, just because it's, it's a big jump in enemy difficulty in New Game Plus. Is. But hopefully this should always work. As long as they don't take away that restore save feature. Right, so that's about... <laughs> I've not been counting. 60 or 70. Something like that. I think 100 is a bit too many. I think 50 would have been a better number. Or 20. Or 20. Uncharted, un the Uncharted games, sometimes when they have their similar trophies to this, these MISC trophies, they've normally got like 20, haven't they? Not normally 100. I think 20, yeah, 20, 20 would have been a nice number. 20 would have been a nice number for this. Yeah, so just going around in a circle. That's all we're doing. Right, so what, about 20 left, maybe? 10? Can't be many more, surely. What? What are you doing? Come and attack me. <laughs> no time for a break. Guess you got to get his breath back. He's swinging that club for quite a long time now. That axe. There we go, and tarnished. Right, fuck off. Oh, what's that? A glimpse from me? Thank you. Right, let me show you guys how to... Um... That boiled frog don't really do much, does it? It's supposed to increase your stamina regen, but it doesn't really help that much. 
All right, get out. It's a door there. Who left the door open? It's a draft. Right, so it's going to save. Right, now, after saving, exit to main menu. And now you need to be very quick on this. The way the the way the game auto saves your your save to sort of the in-game cloud, not the cloud on PS Plus. That's like an in-game sort of cloud function. Look, we still it's this one. Restore save. Restore save. The way this works is, I think every when you've been playing for like five or ten minutes, occasionally it will just uh, back up your save. It's like every five or ten minutes or so. So we need to be quick doing this because we need to keep restoring that save, guys. Need to keep restoring that. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to restore that safe. Um, it sh it should be just not long before we started. Yeah, so it's about nine minutes before. So it shouldn't be that long before we started doing the parrying and a few other bits and we done that there. Normally, if I if I've maxed all the items and then start doing that parry. Um, it's normally made a backup. You just want to make sure you've got a backup after using all the items and before you do this, guys. Don't over in dark. Yeah, so... Oh, so it's just before this. Okay, so... We've got really quick here, guys. So he's going to keep coming up to the top quickly. And... Um, so just restore the safe. But for the first time we do this, we're going to come up here. We're going to pet the cat. Get a trophy there. Yeah, like I say, you got to be really quick, guys. Because otherwise, you're going to lose all that tar. Right, come to the fat guy. And we're going to buy off him. We're going to buy the um, tools. And then we're going to spend everything else. Just spend everything else, buy whatever, don't matter. There we go, spend everything, that's what, 18,000. Right, once you've got the tools. Wow! Fuck. Oh, what am I, what's going on here? I did not want that to happen. Okay, yeah, once you've got the tools, basically we're going to make the ballista. But I hope that didn't waste too much fuck. That might have wasted too much time there. I'm running so slow because I've got a bloody massive sword, I think. Wow, I'm so fucking slow carrying that. Right, so over here, we're going to make the ballista quickly and then we're going to get the trophy for... Killing two enemies with this. Yeah, you get really quick before the game the game backs up, auto backs up, you're safe again. Right, it's gonna get the attention of these two. Then we're gonna try and kill them both at once with one one uh bolt. Let's wait for them to line up. There we go. Right. You gotta make sure you exit to main menu because we want it to, that money we spent at the NPC, we want it to save. So do not close up, you need to exit to main menu so that it saves that money you spent. Right, so restore safe. Yes, it hasn't, thank god for that. Yeah. Restore safe. Yeah, um I think what happens is the money you've spent, it saves it to like a trophy safe. If you if you look at the PS4 version, all the saves are split up. You've got like a save, you got a character save, a map save, a trophy safe, and a player settings. I think the money you spent saved to your trophy safe. So even though um, I've just restored the save, um, that money we spent before we restored it is still saved because it saved it to the trophy safe or the um, player settings, whichever one it is, I'm not sure. Probably trophy safe. Right, so now it's going to do the same again. Spend all my money. Surely Doesn't matter what you buy, guys. Just spend it all. There we go. Again, just exit to main menu. 
I should only have to do this one more time and that should get me a trophy. This is much quicker than farming this. If you have to farm this, it would take it takes ages. It's just so slow farming in this game. Right, restore. Yes, you just gotta make sure, like I say, you gotta make sure you're quick. Otherwise it'll it'll back up your safe. Right, so after this I've got to restore the safe one more time. Just got all my money back so we can upgrade my shell. And then that should be all the trophies. Yeah, I don't think it's I think we've got most of them. Yeah, so um I'm 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 gonna cut out all my deaths. So whatever time you see the video at, that's what time you could get as platinum if I don't die at all. If I don't die at all. But I mean this has took me just under three and a half hours, just because I died quite a lot. And I think I've wasted quite a bit of time with that. Right, so this will be it. Surely there's some. There we go, sugar baby. Thank you. Thank God that works. Fuck, I'm so glad that works. When it came to rooting this, that's that's probably the main thing I was worried about. Yes, dying a lot is is a little bit annoying when you keep dying. But I was really worried about that because I know that's going to wait. Farming is going to waste so much time. And then I'm not sure, shall I leave farming in? Shall I take it out? Because farming is very annoying, very boring to watch. Especially when it's for about half hour. So I, I was really not sure what to do about that. That's one last thing I thought of and I thought I'd try. And it worked. So I'm fucking so glad it did. Right. So, yes. So what we're going to do now, we're going to upgrade the shell maximum you need after them skills that I bought with uh, Solomon um, you need about three more you need about three more um, after them ones that I bought and we also need to max the shells of all the other we need to you don't need to max your this but you need to buy their name because you cannot use the effigies until you've bought the name with them so you're going to buy all of these if you don't have enough glimpse uh, just use some of the boss ones we should have enough glimpse from what we've used so far. You yeah, so I need, wow, I need loads for them. So I need 25 and 15. So, um, oh, that's way too much. Oh no, that's enough. <laughs> 25, 15, ah, oh, so only a little bit too much. Oh wow, took me down to 20 there. There we go, right. Let's do this, Sester. Right, that's him, he's maxed. Right, once you've maxed out a shell, this doesn't work Harden. For some reason, Harden can't access this shell when he's maxed, I don't know why. I did text the developer, so maybe they'll patch it out. We need to buy this, the ornate mask. It's going to cost 30. So uh, more glim more glimpses. I can um, onto this body. Yeah, let's use when these enough, ones. We'll need it for more. Oh, there we go. Yeah. We so they give you 15 each, don't they? Perhaps. Yeah, I need to buy that. By the there you go. Now he's going to use that a few times. I'll probably only have to use it once, actually. Oh no, twice. So that's fast travel, and as you can see, because I didn't talk, because I didn't talk to any of the sisters, any of her, any of her sisters, I am. Um, I didn't get any fast travel points unlocked. But it don't matter because once I've done this. Oh no, wrong thing. I'm going to be doing the DLC covering that. So, one more. Yeah, let's fast travel here. Why not? Yeah, yeah, I will I, I will put the time, the time for the Platinum. I will put the time it took if he cut out all my deaths. But yeah, overall this has taken me, yeah, just under three hours. Just under three hours, 30. Right, so once you've done the ornate mask, I'm still Solomon. Fucking hell, I've got to do all these again because um, of that save. The thing is with the save, guys, you, you cannot predict where the, um, where the when the game is going to back up your save. Like I say, it's normally every, I don't know, every five or ten minutes. So you just have to do them things I did, and then do the 100 parries, and normally within that time, there would have been a save backed up somewhere while you were either using up all the items or when you were um, uh, doing the 100 parries. But the parries don't matter. 
neither just some because they were just for trophies they don't unlock anything so it's not like we have to do that again luckily Oh, I didn't. I didn't use. The, I didn't use some nascent tires because they already upgraded, weren't they? That's why I didn't use them. Right. So that's that loot. What about the impervious loot? No, I don't think I have. Okay, I need to use that. Oh yeah, Solomon. Yeah, I'll use that in a minute, mate. Don't worry. Oh yeah, and just this one. Right. So all I've got to do is use this one, guys. Then I've got to buy. Then I've got to use every shell. Um, purchase a name with them use the FGs and then that will be it, the buyer's tender trophy will pop I think this best not pop I'm sure I tested this before and you do need to do the FGs as well yes, see that's the last thing nothing else needs match now it's just them FGs now um, right and uh So let's just uh, quick slot all these. So got them ones there. Uh, Eridrim and Haros. Yeah, I've only got one, one, one. But when you per when you seek name, you'll get one. You'll she will give you one. Don't worry. So Eridrim, and you want to make sure you use the effigies as Solomon, obviously, because he gets double. He gets double familiarised with them. You need to make sure you do it as Solomon. Yes. Yeah, so she's gonna seek the name. There we go. She'll give you an effigy as well. Yes, there we go. And we're gonna summon Solomon now. There we go. That's maxed his effigies. Yes, Solomon's the only one you have to use four with. Right, let's just call Eridrin back. Do his two. Uh, back to Solomon. And back to Eridrim. There we go, matched him. Yeah, it's pretty quick then. So let's do Teal next. So I've got to seek his name. What? I think this is the last trophy. I'll have a check in a minute. Just let me seek name. What? Let me seek his name. Name is. Seeketh his name is. He's. Teal's pretty cool, just because he's got such a massive stamina bar, but his health, he dies so quickly. That's the only thing with him. Right, um, base game trophies. Not earned. Yeah, that's it. Wow. Okay, so um, Solomon. And then we're going to... Teal. Where is he? Where's Teal? Uh, there he is. That means platinum's gonna pop when I'm inside Haros. There we go, that's Tildum. Right, last one, Haros. And platinum is mine. I guess this cleanup's taking about 40 minutes, doesn't it? Yeah, so just f we're just fucking about for 40 minutes, buddy. Using items, collecting items, parrying enemies. Probably almost as long as the full game when you've not died. Wow. Right, um okay, yeah. Solomon, got to use him as Solomon. Always remember to use him as Solomon. How come I've got an FG of Teal? Oh yeah, because I grabbed an extra one, didn't I? I think, yeah. Yeah, I think um I grabbed an extra uh, FG for Teal when we're in the cave in a, a tomb. Just after kill it and save Grisha, it was near one of the etchings, if you remember. Right, that's it. Bars tended. And platinum trophy. Yeah, so we. There we go. Platinum, guys. Yeah, and uh, we have to kill. We have to get all the weapons just so we can. Uh, get all these weapons just so we can use the um, uh, items, which let you summon them to your hand instantly. Right, yeah, so uh, that is it. Platinum. Yeah, just one more save before we call it a day. I'll just show you what my um, compendium looks like. Yeah, so that's everything I've got. 
Still got a few glimpses left. Still got a few left. Yeah, so this is everything you need. I, I just tell you, I just go through this again, guys, tell you everything that you need. So, consumables, you need all of these maxed. All of these need maxing. Except for this one. That's a FG for something in Haddon, by the way. That's DIC. This is um, a Rotten Spor Sporg or something. That's a seasonal DLC. Uh, so not even DLC, it's just a seasonal content. That's not needed. And this is a Temporal Stone. That's using the DLC. That's not needed either. Um, weapons and equipment, they don't need. You just need to get some of these in order to get some of the consumables used. Key items don't matter. Uh, currency, you need all of these. You need all these maxed. Glim uh, experience, you need all the glimpses of stun except for the bottom four. You don't need these four here. You don't need them. And unlimited use, you need all of them except for this one, which is that's the um, item for s spawning Haddon's. Sorry, not yeah, the new weapon, the actual Tanner, the DOC weapon. That's the item for spawning that. You do not need that. And that's a loot that you buy from Haddon as well. You buy it from Haddon as well. That's a loot. And you don't need that either. Yeah, so that's it, guys. Platinum trophy. Yeah, that little trick really helps um, for spending all the money with um, the NPC. Yeah, so this is what you can buy from Haddon. I'll just show you. Oh, you have to fight him first. Oh, yeah, you have to fight him first. Basically, he sells um, he sells items for summoning him. He sells the item for summoning the Axitana. And he also sells the new loot. But you have to beat him first. And to make him appear there, you have to defeat the other three Hardens. And, yeah, and he's DLC, obviously. Yeah, so that's it, guys. Platinum. Yeah, it's it would have been... Obviously, this is quick, so I've cut out all my devs and retries. I didn't want to leave him in. Um, but, but, uh, yeah, if I didn't, if I didn't die, you, you can do this, this time you're watching, this is how quick it can be done if you don't die. Um, if you look at my profile, you'll see it's taken me about three hours, probably three hours, 25, I think it will say from platinum. Not hundred percent yet, cause I still got to do DLC, but my platinum time will be like three hours, 25. Um, but yeah, it can be done. Am I going to try and get a like a sort of world record time, you know, without dev, so it's like an official legit record? I, I don't know. I don't know. I've, pra I've practiced so much and I'm still di I'm still dying sometimes on the bosses. So, you know, I've got to practice it even more and I just don't know if I've got a time now. I've got to get on for DSC and Tormentor Souls, because that comes out soon. I can't wait to get stuck into that. And there's, a, there's some few games next time I want to play as well. Was I'm looking forward to. Um, yeah, but that's it, guys. P another Platinum Speedrun on the, on PS5 Mortal Shells Enhanced Edition. I hope it helped. I hope you enjoyed watching it, if you just watched it for the speedrun. Um, but thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next video.